All right, let's uh, install some views on our analytics account. I'm in the Mason Computer Repair uh, Google Analytics dashboard again. What I'm going to do first is change the name of the uh, all website data view, and let's change it to uh, what it is, something that we can remember. Uh, what it is is the unfiltered view, and uh, put a little note to yourself, do not use please. Why you want to do that is if uh, you mess up a uh, view on Google, analytics you could very well end up losing all your data so when you're putting filters and stuff on it's best to use a test view and never to put filters on your only view like that so that's why we changed the name now go ahead and create another view we we'll call this one the test view I promise I can spell view alright put your time zone in this is uh, the name of this view is the test view all right, now let's go and create one more view, and we'll call this one our master view. So every time we log into Google Analytics in the future, this will be the uh, this will be the view that we use when we log in. So why we're doing all this, I guess you really don't need to know that yet. Uh, other than to say that the views are important, and you want to have three different ones uh, to be able to test filters when you put them on. Master view is the one that you always look at when you're checking your reports. Test view is the view that you open when you want to try new filters. And the unfiltered view is one that you'll never use. Uh, that's your uh, your data bank, so to speak. You never want to, if you mess that view up, you'll lose all your data. So that's how you stop the views.